es Eva. The son of consecutive natures. We did this in class together and I gave you a formula about that. If we have a sum of numbers from one to another number, one plus two plus three plus, it could be until somewhere. So to find this sum, we have an easy way. We multiply last number by last number plus one divided by two. So to get this formula, first take in the class, I gave you an example about adding numbers, adding numbers from one to ten. You try to solve this question by adding them, <coughs> adding them one by one. One plus two, three. Three plus three, six. Six plus four, five. Ten. Ten plus five, fifteen. So you found the answer like that. Everybody found the answer like that. And it took a little bit of your time. But if I change this number, ten, if I make it fifteen, it will be very hard to find it, and it will take a lot of time. So we need an easy way to do it. To find an easy way, I wrote the numbers from last first again under here. Ten, five, eight, blah blah blah. Here goes these two numbers, two and three, one. So if we add them from after one, one plus ten, eleven, two plus nine, eleven, three plus eight, eleven. And here, nine plus two, eleven, ten plus one, eleven. As you see, all for all numbers, the sum will be eleven. Here is the question: How many elevens do we have here? How many elevens are there? How many of them? So look at how many numbers in here. There are ten numbers. So there must be ten elevens here. To find sum of all these elevens, eleven plus eleven plus eleven plus. To find sum of all these elevens, we multiply ten times. 11. 10 times 11. So, there is a second part of this question. We add the numbers from 1 to 10 in here, from 10 to 1 in here. So, we add the numbers two times. First time in upper part, second time in lower part. But we want to find only the upper part. To find only the upper part, we must divide sum of all these elevens by 2 to find only one part we must find sum of all these elevens by 2 Eleven, 10 times 11 divided by 2 is equal to 10 times 11 is 110 divided by 2 is equal to 55 so what can be the idea of formula look at that we will start with one always, so the last number whatever it is. So we will multiply that number, we will start with the last number always. Then times last number plus one, because we start with one, so divided by two. Last number times last number plus one divided by two. First thing, let's solve an easy question only to use the formula, only about using the formula. Is. Okay. Example. How to weigh the following. Yes. Let's write another question which starts from one for learning for to learn the formula. One plus two plus three plus blah 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 and let's change this last number and let's make it four B nine. To find sum of all these numbers we will make last number four B nine times last number plus one fifty divided by two. So let's multiply forty nine by fifty something here. 
0 times 9 is 0, 0 times 4 is 0, 5 times 9 is 45, we have 4, 5 times 4 is 20, plus 4, 24, let's add them, 0, 5, 4, and 2. <clears throat> 49 times 50 makes 2,000, 450 and we must divide this number by 2 into that of 1 times 2 makes 2 0 move forward here to 4 that are 2 times 2 makes 4 4 minus 4 is 0 move 5 here to 5 how many 2 that are 2 times 2 makes 4 5 minus 4 is 1 move 10 here to 10 how many 2 are there that are 5 times 2 in 10 so this number 1225 is the sum of all numbers for of 1 to 49. Sum of all natural numbers for of 1 to 49. So this is an easy question to solve by using formula. An easy question. So there is one step of questions which are not starting from 1. There are some questions. Example, calculate the following. For example, <coughs> 40 plus 41 plus 40 to 43 until 99. Okay. I want to find some of all these numbers. Let's say we have another question. 14 plus 41, 42 until 99. So, to find this sum, we have a problem. The numbers are not starting from 1. So, if they don't start from 1, to use the formula, we write the numbers again as they start from 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus. So, when we write it like that, we also need to use 40 and 1 before 40, 39 plus 40 plus blah 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 blah, blah. the last number is 99. The part which we want to find, the part which is question, sum of numbers from 40 to 99. So, we want to find this part. To find this part, we must use the formula. We can use the formula only if they starts from 1. So, from 1 to 49, 40. From 1 until 40. Firstly, we calculate this part. Secondly, we calculate from 1 to 99. So, from this bigger one, when we subtract the previous part, we will find the answer of question. Remember that, we call sum of all these numbers, sum of, which part? Sum of first part. We need this in class. So, and sum of all the numbers from 1 to 99, we call it as sum of all the numbers. So, to find sum of first part, the first part is ending with the number 39. 39 times 39 plus 1 makes 40, divided by 2. Let's multiply 39 by 14 here times 0 times 9, 0 times 3. 4 times 9 is 36. We have 3. 4 times 3 is 12. 12 plus 3 makes 15. So when you add them, 0 goes here. 0 plus 6 is 6. 5 is going here. 1. 1560 is the product of. 39 and 40. So, <clears throat> 39 times 40 makes 1560 and I must divide it by 2. In 15, there are 7 times 2 makes 14. Subtract them, 5 times 4 makes 1. Here's zero. Move 6 here. In 16, how many is order? There are 8 times 2. 8 times 2 is 16, subtract them 0 and 0. Move 0 down here, in 0 how many 2 are there? There 
delta A. So, 780 is the sum of the numbers until 40, sum of first five, sum of all the numbers which is before 40. So, for answer of this question, what do we do? We do sum of all numbers minus sum of first part. So we found sum of first part. Sum of first part is minus 780. Now we must find sum of all numbers from 1 to 99. How can we find them? 99 times 99 plus 1 makes 100 divided by 2. Multiply these numbers. You can do it somewhere else like 99 times 100. But it is easy to multiply. So I will do it directly. At one if you want to try, you can do it like this. So 99 times 100 is 9,900. And I must divide it by 2. In 9 there are 4 times. So it makes 8 minus 1. In 19 there are 9 times 2 makes 18. 19 minus 18 makes 1. No 0 here. In 10, there are 5 times 2. 5 times 2 is 10. We have another 0 to hold down here. In 0, there is no 2. So, 4950 is sum of all the numbers from 1 to 99. From sum of all numbers from 4950, we subtract. Sum of first part, the numbers from 1 to 39, we found it as 780. 780. Let's make it 0 minus 0 will be 0. 5 minus 8 we can do, we make it 15 minus 8 makes 7. Then we have here 8, 8 minus 7 is 1, and 4 goes here directly. 4170 is the final answer of this question. Remember that if we don't start from 1, we write them as it starts from 1 plus 2 plus 3. We also use the number which they start and the previous number before that, then until the last number. First, we will find the part before the first number, then we find sum of all numbers from 1 to last number of this question then we subtract the smaller number from bigger one we subtract the smaller number from bigger one that is the way we do it